first video uh, with the EU4. And uh, today I'm, I've started a game where I uh, try to roleplay a little because these people out here are actually stranded Europeans. They were kicked out of Funen or Fyn as it's called in Danish because they were hard believers in the, Cath uh, the Catholic faith and even though all the other uh, bodies of land in Funen was actually also Catholic they couldn't um, they wouldn't like they didn't like what they uh, what they saw from the Funinans Funinans? Funinans? They didn't like that so they kicked them out of the country and put them on boats or actually they had boats themselves and they were sailing out to find new better places and the Danish people just overtook Fyn and they went out on this into the English Channel, Straits of Dover the, ch the channel here of course and then way out here in Bay of Biscay they got lost because their navigators weren't that bright so they ended up in the Atlantic Oceans the only problem was they didn't know it was the Atlantic Ocean and then they sailed and sailed and sailed keep in mind that this is 40 years ago and in those 40 years the Funians have uh, taken over these islands in the Caribbean they do not quite know where they are yet although they have discovered uh, some places here <laughs> which is rather hilarious I didn't wouldn't like that actually I would like them to be uh, Terra Incognita but I couldn't so unfortunately so they have discovered um, or heard from somebody that that's what happening but they don't know the way back to Europe so they decided to stay here and I need to do something about that very annoying music game options audio apply and I need to do some I think I'll do something to my yep do something to my uh, how I listen to it here as well okay <coughs> back to track well now these funions have uh, lived lived here for 40 years and they have <coughs> they have all uh, got very well uh, settled in these colonies you might say but this is their new home the Republic of Funen or Republica Fionia Wow okay well let's uh, let's get this game going this is just a backstory of how some Western technology group ended up out here and obviously they had um, like 10,000 men or 15,000 men or something like that and they were very bright and they had uh, very various educations and they set up this little uh, farm not farm but this is their new their new uh, Windward Islands this is state uh, can I get states map states and territories yeah Wha what what is the shortcut that's why okay that's pretty nice why is a shortcut uh, do you know why yeah it's all states it seems uh, Windward Islands are they I is this all Windward Islands? No. Leeward Islands. Leeward Islands. Windward Islands. Wow, what about this up here? St. Thomas. Oh, yeah, okay. I wouldn't know. Uh, Eastern Lanos, Guana. I don't know. Did I touch something? What's, what's this? Capital State, okay. <laughs> what about this down here? Also Windward Islands. Come on, uh, I don't know. How can I see that? It doesn't seem like I'm capable of seeing which one is which state. This is just add another map mode. 
I need to do something about this. Uh, trade development. Yeah, development is nice. Okay, never mind. We'll do this later. Uh, we need to get going. The first thing we need to do is uh, look at the flag. A bit like the Danish, but with the blue color. And some s uh, Norwegian. Although it's black. Wow. <laughs> we need to say it uh, native policy. Although native native uh, coexistence is very very lovely. Um, native trading policy is also very good, and global settler increase is also pretty good. If I can keep, I'm actually capable of having 15 states. Wow. Oh yeah, I chose a good government. Yeah. Okay. Um, Native trading policy, native repression policy, global settler increased by 20 a year. Actually, I think that's a pretty good idea. I don't need to walk great distances in uh, in terrain with uh, with um, with natives. So I'll choose the native repression policy, and I can't change it. How long does it take? I can just change it whenever. Okay. Uh, I must say that uh, I've I played this game before, but but uh, I never played. Uh, I haven't played it for perhaps um, I don't know. Not really for a year or something like that. So many new expansions have come out, and including the um, the this one, which I can't remember what's called. Nostra, not Nostradamus. Mediterranean, Medi me, uh, I don't know. Mediter Mediterranean Sea, right? Nos Mara Nostra. Huh? No. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, we have lots of states and we have a lot of stuff to be colonized because we actually start with a colonist. Wow, very handy. This is also the reason why in 40 years the Fion people, Fionia people have actually uh, managed to settle all this. Pretty cool stuff. All Danes. Nice, right? Autonomy. Why? Why autonomy here? Uh, why autonomy? I don't want autonomy. Their first candidate for an estate. Are we not capable of having a state? No, because we are a republic. Yeah, Grand Republic. Wow. And Consul Christian Muritaro. Muritaro isn't quite <laughs> a Danish name, but he he took it when he came to the new land. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I think we should focus on uh, admin tech to begin with. We have a merchant. Pretty nice. Uh, who do we know? Uh, what are friends? No friends. No enemies. Neighbors. No neighbors. What? That doesn't make sense. Uh, has trade dispute against Ragusa. They are threatening our trade. I I'm afraid. I don't think they are. <laughs> Ragusa. OMG, it's like over here, right? Uh, let's see. Ragusa, yeah, Dubrovnik. What the fudge? Um, I don't think there are. Uh, uh, probably after a month tick, uh, it'll go away, hopefully. Uh, we do have some f a fleet as well, yeah? Uh, pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Let's select you and mothball you, and then you is gonna protect trade. Yeah, in the Caribbean. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's see. Republic Cafionia gets everything right, and actually. I have one out in Amazonas, 
to transfer thing up here and one in Panama. Uh, yeah. But I have, I have one left, and the game doesn't seem to want to use that guy. I could also put him up here. <sighs> Although I don't get much out of it, I don't think I'll get much out of it. But uh, since I'm not competing, oh, I am. Comp no, I'm not competing with anyone down here. No. Uh, let's compete. Uh, must be in range. Okay, no range. Range penalty, but I can collect from trade here. That's that's what I have to do then. Never mind. Um, mission. Col yeah, yes, please. Yes, please. And actually, we need to unmothball. Uh, let's unmothball these and then just take out the characters. How do I do that? I'm not gonna. I don't want to. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm only gonna uh, mothball the early characters. Yeah? Uh, let's go back to the screen. Um, economy. Pretty cool. Wow, that's enormous. I knew that I was going to get some revenue from. Uh, wow. Mississippi River. England currently has the most power in Ivory Coast. Which year did we start in? This oh, this doesn't make sense. But uh, then again, it doesn't make sense that Danes should be over here, right? Uh, let's move forth. Yeah, Western technology. Wow. No, it's a bit like cheating. I've chosen to have a yeah and. 20% off on land maintenance when I get to when I get through all these ideas. Pretty good. Uh, one colonist and 5% off on technology. So I'm not gonna have any hard time. This is gonna be a, a I, I want it to be an immersive role-playing kind of game and I hope you guys f wanna follow along. Um, yeah. I would love to get some more taxes most of our income no yeah but the the mo biggest income source right now is tax yeah mission we had a mission yeah let's move along no no are we at a force limit nope not when it comes to uh yeah neither neither naval force limit nor the uh what is that called land forces land force limit no subjects no estates never mind yeah, we need some of these. First, we need... Yeah, this guy is alright. And over here, colonial range, no morale of the navies, no spy network construction. These are bad. I think... Oh! Why is he an Indian? I chose West <laughs> Western Minches. Well, I, I don't care. Uh, Rorik Nip. You must be one of the locals which we adapted into our society. Uh, welcome, welcome, Rorik. You're a great man. Uh, colonial range. Yeah, why not? We're not gonna. We're not gonna use moral for navies, morale for navies, or spy network construction uh, anytime soon. Same with this thing. Yeah, land maintenance modifier is the best since uh, we're not going to war, and if we are, it would be against like. Carib or something like that. Uh, and we had a mission and I already forgot it. It was St. Thomas. Okay. Uh, St. Thomas is up here someplace. Here? Yeah. Let's send this guy. And the natives are almost non-existent. Uh, these are mothballed, but I'd rather they would be mothballed some someplace else. Let's take them down to Trinidad and mothball them down there. Uh, we have eight. Uh, perhaps I, w for now, I want to move these troops here over to um, over to Saint Thomas.
and I'm actually capable of... Whoa! Uh, just diplomacy, please. I don't know what that was. Of our lands? Why not? Why not? Not the same religion. Go fetch. Um... Then... Build a spy network. I just said that we didn't need to, to do that, but... I'd rather do that than do nothing. And uh, we will be getting some some money here. Yeah, pretty good. Let's go. Uh, we did get up there. Yes, we did. How long? How long does it take for colonists to arrive up here? Apparently, pretty long. Yeah. Okay. And the natives were like... Feriosity. Ah, okay. There is a 4% chance per month. <sighs> Actually, can our economy... Can it take us have... Nope. Already having... Using too much money. Okay. Um, now we can mothball, yeah. And... Our trade went down. How is that possible? Or did it? Mothballing here, colonial maintenance. We cannot afford to have a second colony until we have a colonist, unfortunately. Let's move up speed a bit. My grand has uh, joined the trade lead. Uh, who cares? Yeah, who cares? Uh, trading in tobacco happened to us. Effect foreign spy de detection, fifty percent. Okay, you just give them tobacco, and what and they'll tell you <laughs> it was that guy over there. Ah, uh, perhaps. Let's see, collecting three point two five ducats. Yeah. Trade leak disbanded. Who cares? Um, I know it's I don't need to right now, but I I would I would prefer having a large army. Um, and I think I would like to go to Kumani, Kumana. I need to turn this off. I don't want to hear anything. What is this? I don't want to hear anything. Can I tell, please, I don't want... Deselect all. Select all. Can I just say Europe? North America? Let's see how many I get there now. Okay, 4% chance any, every month, man. It's not even been a year and they're already risen here. Okay, that's pretty... Not pretty easy. Perhaps I could spare a few bucks on the army maintenance. Uh... Let's see how that plays along. It's a chance, but there were like thousand men or five hundred men or something like that. Mm. We did get that modifier, didn't we? No, we did not. Must build establish a colony to help. The objectives. Colony population at least four hundred. Are you kidding me? Used to be right away. Didn't it? How many do we have? 58. That's not enough. Keep moving. Yes, I will take. Uh, 
A uh, fifteen percent chance to increase the population by twenty-five, growing the colony by an average of forty-five people per year. Oh. Uh, Where is them? I don't think so. Um, now the grand. What was my title again? Uh, the Grand Consul Christian Muritaro chose that he wanted a war. So his uh, primary target in this war was against the Orinoco, no Arawak, on the Orinoco Delta. So he said to his, he said to his, to his uh, peasants and his underlings that he wanted Aravak, and they needed to secure a, f a way for him to get Aravak. Uh, two parents' opinion of Republic of Fiona changed by uh, gets two successive power in Amazonas. Who the f what is 2P number? 2P number? Is that over here? No. 2P num. Let's see. 2P. Yeah, I see you. Who care what you? Th who cares what you think of me? I don't give a f fudge. Um. I could, I could, uh, would like to have some rivals though. Not many rivals over here. I think this way. I should have just said, oh, mission? What mission? And then just taken to Kumano, right? Or else I'm, I'm not capable of, of, uh, do what the, my, what the Grand Council said. He wanted a war against Arawak. And then do do do. Ba 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 da. Ba ba da da da. Uh, do do do. Actually, there's not much to do over here when you play like this. <laughs> um, but we want that war, and it'll happen soon. Uh, can I? I actually, I can actually do it. I'm, st I'm just stupid, man. If they uh, have, uh, yeah, I need, I need full maintenance on my. Now, yes. First thing. Next thing is, I need to build some cavalry, right? I will take. And keep these three over here. I'll select these, put them on the boats. And that was five, right? Five regiments. Take them down here. Combine these two. Do they have a leader? No, they don't. Can I? I can make a general out of my. Yeah, no problem. Magnus. And he actually had what I, what I wanted: shock value and manure value. That is just great. Um, let's get it down here. These natives uh, don't usually have ships. Huh? Five thousand men. So what I would like to have is. Hmm. What are my flanking bonuses? Hmm. I can't see here. Where is it I see that? Is it in here? Oh, it's in technology, right? Flanking. So right now, two from the cavalry. Yeah, cavalry. Is it pronounced cavalry? I hope so. Uh, we just need to make a claim, and we are capable of. Diplomacy. Fabricate claim. We want Orinoca Delta. Yeah. And we don't need more spy network over here because we are about to take our claim, grab our claim. 
and that'll be in the next video. I'll just uh, have a short break and I'll be back with another video in just a few moments. Stay tuned, guys.